That's what it is. Let's dive into this one. Hi, hello everybody, it's the Gringo Scott. Today we are reviewing a 2019 movie, The Sound of Metal. It was part of Carolyn's recommendations. She is very good at picking movies, so shout out to her. She's been picking some of my movies out, so shout out to her. This is number 19, day 19, on my 30 day video a day challenge. If you guys wanna see other videos in this playlist, I will put it at the end of this video. You guys can check that out. Without further ado, let's check out The Sound of Metal. of this movie so you have two people one's the singer that's the girlfriend and then the other one's the drummer and I believe he must be the writer as well in the of the music and it's heavy metal that they play and they appear to be at the level of where they're making decent money but they definitely have to tour but it's just kind of them it seems like they're going but they're definitely filling venues and, and making money he's super passionate about it he loves it she seems to be struggling some I don't want to get into that too much. The main thing is suddenly he starts losing his hearing. He has to come to face with the fact that he is going deaf. And he is a drummer for a heavy metal band. Now they don't really go into why he's losing his hearing. I can only assume because he plays heavy metal and for some reason he has some kind of, had some issue who knows why he's losing his hearing. But he's losing his hearing and he is also a recovering 12 stepper from drugs. And alcohol so it's about his journey dealing with this loss his girlfriend dealing with this loss of his hearing how it's affected his passion which is the drums and playing heavy metal which he's super passionate about and just his process and going into the deaf culture versus the uh, hearing culture on the larger scale and what it's all like it's and uh, that's basically the summary of this movie he says something at one point says Nobody else is going to save your life. And to me, that is the deeper meaning on this one. And what that means for me, you know, you got to focus on the solution, not the problem. The solution, not the problem. Because focusing on the problem creates a victim mentality. Victims don't do anything. Victims need help. Victim needs saving. People who focus on solution do something, try their best. Willing to get help with solving the solution, but not save me it's a big difference it's a big difference up here above all uh, focusing on the solution not the problem i can speak for myself i most of the time i'd say 95 percent of the time anything that's happened in my life or anything that's happened to me i can some level see what role i have to play and see how I can do something different in the future, or even if it's something that's tragic, okay, well, what thing can I do? What little thing can I do? Okay, so what, what, what can I work towards on this? What's the solution to get me, start getting me out of this hole? And I think that that's a very, uh, very important way of thinking, to have the solution mentality instead of a victim mentality. Only you can save your own life. One thing that popped up was there were several inconsistencies that pulled me away from the reality of the movie. One of them, for example, he was getting up at 5 a.m. and it was completely sunny outside. But that pulled away from me on that reality. Another thing is when he was communicating with the doctor, he suddenly could hear him better than he had before, I guess, in order to speed up the communication process. And then why is the doctor trying to talk to him and he's understanding, quote unquote, and stuff. And I kind of felt like, it's like, are you, did I guess they're just doing that because... Do we really want to sit and watch them painstakingly go through stuff? Or even, I mean, you know, here's the reality. Uh, partway through the movie, I thought, well, couldn't you just use a, uh, a smartphone? You could use a smartphone and some kind of note, note app. This is basic. I'm sure you could download an app specifically for hearing impaired, but uh, just an, even a note app and put on the microphone and it would pick up what the person saying and you could read it. I mean, our, our phones are pretty good at listening in, as we all know. So they could definitely do that text to spe speech to text stuff. So Also another inconsistency that was kind of weird. His finances were a little bit vague. I would have liked them to show a little bit more of where his finances are coming from. I, would have, I mean, maybe I'm nosy, but I want to know how much the guy makes touring rock and roll band or heavy metal band or whatever, because it didn't seem, they didn't seem to be doing bad, but they certainly weren't like superstars. 
Uh, a very unique slow pacing in this movie. Uh, once I adjusted to the show no tell type of 70s, like I've reviewed in other movies, like Aliens and stuff. Alien, not Aliens, good lord. But a the cocaine 80s hit on the Aliens and it became a kill them action movie. But Alien and other 70s movies, it kind of has that slow paced action. It has a European feel to it, which is interesting. And that was pretty cool. And it kind of just got you into that world. It was a lot of just quiet. I really like the way he enters into this other realm. <laughs> it's like a little different realm. I mean, the deaf culture is totally different, man. And it just kind of explored it. It seems so fascinating. As someone who has grown up, you know, I uh, studied Spanish for many, 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 many years. I lived in Spain, traveled around Mexico. So I really found languages really interesting. I always found nonverbal languages incredibly interesting. I thought that was so cool. Like there's cultures of people who don't talk. They just sign and stuff. And I mean, how do they think? You know, with stuff like that. Like what do they think in words or what? But apparently, fun fact on that, I did look that up. If sign is your first language, apparently, according to them, they think in symbols and gestures in their head. They don't think in words. Their inner voice is sign, which makes sense. But then, my gosh, what is that like? How does that affect your perception of reality? Because, wow, that's crazy. So they show this culture. They also show this culture mixed, mixed with the 12-step culture, 12-step community culture. So it's really a unique uh, world that he goes into yeah it's really cool I really like that that was really cool it's a very good movie guys I really 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 recommend this movie if you're all interested in I think a f somewhat good snapshot of the deaf community the 12-step community work together it's a really good movie so before I give my opinion of this movie I'll scale 1 to 10 please remember to like subscribe and leave comments but without further ado I give The Sound of Metal a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Hey, yeah, boy.